everyone, and welcome to Evolve. At least new Evolve. Stage 2 Evolve. I'm playing as the Gorgon. Haven't played as her before on the channel, and I really like the Gorgon. The Gorgon is really powerful. Just straight up very powerful if people don't know how to play against her. If they do know how to play against her, then she's pretty easy to beat, actually. But she's all about a whole divide and conquer sort of way because she has a uh, spider trap basically where she basically lays a spider on the battlefield and it'll grab somebody and just take them away and basically you can divide up the group pretty effectively like that she's also got web trap which will slow people she's got the acid breath which is the main damage dealing move that the uh, gorgon has it's interesting that they called it Gorgon, and Gorgon is not a spider. The Gorgon is Medusa, which is a snake lady who turns people to stone. But for some reason, the Gorgon is, in this game at least, a giant fucking spider. It doesn't make much sense. Like, I can get Behemoth being a giant rock monster, because, I mean, that you could excuse that, because Behemoths are normally giants. Goliath, that's excusable. Wraith is excusable. Kraken, it looks like a giant squid, so that's excusable. But Gorgon literally does not look like what it's supposed to. Like, could they just not find a mythological spider name for it? I don't know. It's just a really unorthodox thing. I don't know why it always does that. Whenever I start one of these games, it always does that. But yeah, the Acid Breath, very strong, and it's very effective at getting food early on. So I'm just trying to run right now and get out of the out of the distance. I don't even care about those ones right there. They're not even a big thing for me. There we go. I'm literally just trying to make a run. go. Just move as quickly as possible through this area. It's not really worth it. This is worth it. There we go. Okay then. Now then, if they catch me here, and if I win the fight, basically, I will definitely be able to evolve. Doing really good, though. So far, so good. They actually haven't even caught me yet. Although, one could theorize that they're very close, because I'm not actually watching my back at all. There we go. They had to apparently use the planetary tracker on me. There we go. If I can actually hit phase two without them ever attacking me, I'll actually be in a damn super decent spot. There we go. I like the way that Gorgon moves. It's not the best movement in the game, because Goliath may actually be the best mover in the game just the on how evolved. quickly he can do it. But if you aim it right, Gorgon can move across the map way faster than Goliath. It just requires a bit of skilled aiming. Because it's basically a hook-pulley thing. Like, Goliath jumps immediately. Gorgon has, like, a lag moment and then, like, pulls herself. Like, I'm ready for a fight here. I'm already stage two, so I'm definitely ready to fight these guys. Like, you don't even actually have to hook anything. There we go. I do believe Gorgon can hook onto walls, but I've never had an actual need to use that ability. 
I've always just kept more mobile than the enemy. Although I'm pretty sure the ability to stick on the walls can throw people off. I'm pretty sure when this game actually had a stealth component to it, it was actually very useful to be able to stick on the walls. But they kind of got rid of the stealth play in this game. Like, if I was crouching around, they wouldn't be able to follow my footprints, but that doesn't even really matter anymore. They have a planetary tracker, which shows them exactly where I am on the map, no matter what. And they can basically use it a lot, too, so... It's not hard for them to track me. Like, basically, I'm just doing a big loop here. They may not even be able to catch me. They're like... This guy has extra pounce damage. I want him. And after I get this guy, I'm going for him. Alright, time to engage. Gorgon is really good against people who don't know how to fucking play the game. As I just showed, like, they just stood in my acid the entire time there. But yeah, if people don't know to jump out of the acid, you basically get that right there. Where you can steamroll people. Like, you cannot stand in that acid. You have to rocket jump, like, straight up. You gotta get out of there. You can't let that happen. You gotta get out of it. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time.